Hey everybody, this is Craig, and uh, today I'm going to do a special video just because I don't do a lot of PlayStation 3 videos, or just PlayStation videos in general, and uh, I get called out on it. And actually, this is a combination of multiple ones. I'm in pajamas, John, so suck on it, because I work all day and uh, this shit's comfortable. And that's one. <laughs> Two, I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I say it all the time that I just prefer to have achievements over trophies. That, and if I'm playing a game, I prefer to play it on Xbox, because most of my friends play on Xbox. However, there's one thing that PlayStation has over Xbox. Now, granted, Xbox Live Arcade has, you know, it has a lot of great games, and a lot of games that are worth having an Xbox for. PlayStation Plus uh, wipes the floor with it. I'm not saying in terms of playing games online, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying free games. So, what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to go down every one of my PS3 games, that I have downloadable. So I'm gonna give you my entire PlayStation digital collection except for the minis and the PS2, because there's only one PS2 game, is Twisted Metal Black. And the minis I barely touched. Um, however, we'll start with PlayStation 3. Keep in mind that a good half of these uh, did come from PlayStation Plus. I use that greatly. I download pretty much everything that's on PlayStation Plus. If I don't like it, I delete it. So the ones that I have here are games that I'm actually have enjoyed or I am enjoying. And then I'll go through my, my PS1 games. I have 84 of them combined. So keep that in mind as I go down fast and I only say a couple words about each game. Here we go. Yes, and this will cover my digital collection. Because I did a top five uh, PlayStation Network games way back. I want to say I did it like a year ago. And people don't realize that. So they're like, how come you don't have this? How come you don't have this? Because that video was a year ago. All right. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Start there. Bottom's not necessarily oldest, though, for some reason. Wipeout HD Fury. I hate racing games. I like Wipeout. Wipeout is uh, a real techie version of Mario Kart. Not as fun. However, it is fun to play it, you know, one player. Plus, it's in 3D. Plants vs. Zombies. Woo! Some of them are going to be really loud. Plants vs. Zombies is fun, no matter what platform you play it on, and uh, that's that. Resident Evil 4 HD, uh, I bought this. I bought this, and then it was discounted for PlayStation Plus people, motherfuckers. <laughs> but uh, Resident Evil 4 is great. Uh, this is a superior version. Before that, I used to tell everybody that the, uh, the Wii version was superior graphically, but the PlayStation 2 version was superior for everything else. Then they came out with it on the, uh, the Wii with the PlayStation, I mean the, uh, let me try it again, the Wii controls. However, this is the definitive version, same as the Xbox uh, 361, downloadable, HD, great. If you never played Resident Evil 4, check it out. If you never played Resident Evil 4, what's wrong with you? Mega Man 9, I bought this the day that they released it. Mega Man 9 is a great homage to the 8-bit days, as it is entirely 8-bit, and it has its first female, uh... Robot villain. Metal Gear Solid 4 database. Uh, that's not even a game. That's just a database for Metal Gear Solid. Flow. Flow was one of my favorites. I put it in my top five and people shit on it. I love Flow. Flow takes a little while to. This music is so heavenly. Flow takes a little while to get used to with the controller, but when you do, it is a lot of fun. Super Street Fighter 2 HD Remix Turbo. Um, as many of you may know, I'm not a giant Street Fighter fan. Uh, I will play if I'm asked, but uh, it just looks pretty. This is pretty much one of the only games I've downloaded simply because it looks fantastic and does. All the sprites are redrawn. It is amazing. Rampage World Tour. I downloaded it on Nostalgia. Still was fun to play. Me and my cousin Jay used to play Rampage World Tour all the time. Arcade perfect version. Mortal Kombat 2. Once again, I put it on my top five because I love Mortal Kombat 2. And once again, arcade perfect version. This is when Midway was putting up a bunch of their arcade stuff before they went under. Echo Chrome was also on that list. Echo Chrome is a fantastic puzzle game. Stacking was one of the games I got for free when I first joined PlayStation Plus. Um, you know, let me get away from this music, thank you. Stacking was a fun game, and um, why the hell do I want to, what is his name? Tim Schafer. I wanted to say Tim Burton so bad. Tim Schafer. Tim, Tim Schafer is the Tim Burton of video games, I guess. Uh, 
But Tim Schafer's games are fun to me occasionally. Not always. Not all of his games are fun. And I think it's fair to say that because he makes such a... It, it doesn't seem like it. His art stuff. You going, you going for it? You going after it? His art style is very... Hey, yeah. Thank you. His art style is very similar to each one, but they're not necessarily always the same style of game. So that's why not every game is fantastic to me. Stacking was a fun adventure game. Um, you know, there's ones in between that aren't so good. But uh, They gave this to me for free. I don't really like Magic the Gathering. I downloaded it just in case people wanted to play it. Sonic the Hedgehog, I purchased this one, and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, my son loves Sonic, so actually my son doesn't love Sonic so much as when you start the game and it says Sega, which I put that video up on Vine of him saying Sega after the console said it, Sonic the Hedgehog, it's classic, uh, you know it's not like an HD remake or anything, but it is just regular Sonic, Monsters Online card game, hey I got an idea, I don't even know why that's in there. <laughs> Cosmic Quest. Cosmic Quest was amazing, guys. Cosmic Quest was an awesome RPG where you go around trick-or-treating. But your costumes will dictate your abilities. It is fun. It is a fun game. you got to get into different costumes to get to different areas. Guys, check out Cosmic Quest if you never checked it out. It's pretty much on sale all the time. Burn Zombie Burn. Hey. Oh, shit. Ah, I started to delete it before it was finished counting. It might take forever. And it's a horrible noise. Okay, good. Uh, I didn't like that game. Marvel Pinball. I like any pinball from Zen Studios. I love pinball. A lot of you, a lot of you guys might not know this about me. I absolutely love pinball. I'll play any type of pinball. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, and Marvel's no exception. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, this is the Back to the Future series they gave out for free. It's uh, Telltale Games. It plays like Walking Dead. However, it just takes place in the Back to the Future fantasy realm. Um, as far as I know, not a lot of people liked it. You know, because Walking Dead came out by the time they, guess they gave this out for free. And it just wasn't, you know, as popular. But it was still fun. Swords and Soldiers! You know, I said I deleted all the ones I didn't like, but I didn't really. There you go. Never mind about that. Sims arcade game. I actually bought this one. This is that classic game that was at bowling alleys and arcades everywhere. The four-player one, where you get to pick one of the Simpsons, and you get to go through and mess stuff up in old-school side-scroll and beat them up. Battle Fantasia is a fighting game from uh, Atlas. And it's weird. There's a fighting bunny in it. It's still a good game. Pretty much any game that comes from... Uh, you know, it's got a lot of uh, uh, Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear like influence in it because it's made by the same people. I said Atlas, I meant to say Ar Arxis, but uh, Battle Fantasia. They gave that one out for free, I believe, on PlayStation Network because originally it was $19.99 and I wasn't paying that. Golden Axe, once again, I bought this one Golden Axe, the classic Sega game. I have the original copy, but. Why not have it in the digital collection? I actually think I downloaded this before I got the physical copy for Sega. Uh, Sonic 2, once again, just like Sonic 1, it's amazing. My son just likes to hear it say Sega. Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 2, not my favorite. Streets of Rage 3 was my favorite. However, Streets of Rage was um, an awesome side scroll and beat him up, you know, akin to Final Fight. I've always preferred Streets of Rage. Uh, to Double Dragon, so which I'll get to a Double Dragon right here. Altered Beast. I've done a video for Altered Beast before. Wise from your grave. Yeah, that one. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Wise from your grave. That one. That was a shitty audio. Yes, it does say it in here. Comic Zone was a Sega game. Why do all these Sega games back to back? It's like a shitty Genesis collection. I like Comic Zone. I got this for free. Clearly, I would never go out of my way to buy Comic Zone, but. Some people liked it. I don't know. Uh, Shank 2, they gave out for free, obviously. Because I don't have Shank 1 on here. But uh, Shank is a side scroll and beat em up. Shank is actually amazing. It is an amazing side scroll and beat em up. And uh, it's violent. <laughs> Infernal Pool. Ooh, 
Seriously, look me up on Raptor. I'm fucking ranked elite in Inferno, Inferno Pool. I play the shit out of this. I also like, as much as I like uh, pinball, that you guys might not know, I also like virtual pool a lot. I like real pool, but I like virtual pool too. Awesome Nuts. I didn't play a lot of Awesome Nuts, and I feel bad about it because the developer gave me a free copy, and that's where that came from. Frogger Returns. I love Frogger. I bought this. And then it came out for free on PlayStation Plus. Assholes. Um, Frogger, if you ever watch my Atari video, I tell you that Frogger was the first game I ever owned personally that was mine. I love Frogger. Virtual Fighter 5 was simply amazing. Uh, one of the few good games I'm good with Arcade Stick. Uh, I did a video review of it. You can check that out on the channel. Uh, Pac-Man Championship Ship... Fuck. Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Now they have a new version out, but uh, I love Pac-Man, and this is an awesome twist on Pac-Man, so check it out if you've never seen it. Outland, they gave me for free. I started playing it, never finished it, can't give you a full detail of it, except that it's a side scroll of Puzzler. Blood Rain, Betrayal. This game is ridiculously hard and ridiculously good. Shush! Ah, oh, God, it's all music now. It's all music now. What's, what's... Thank you. Blood Rain Betrayal was extremely hard and extremely good, and it is a side-scroller. It's not the Blood Rain that you remember. It's more like Castlevania, but less like Castlevania, but more like Castlevania. Uh, Counter-Strike Go, bought this the day it came out, and suck so bad at it. I suck so bad at it. Just I like Counter-Strike, but I'm terrible at it. Don't try and give me tips on how to get better. I don't care. I will never play this again. Unless, like, we get a whole lobby of just you guys to do it. Because I don't like playing with other people in Counter-Strike. Double Dragon Neon. Like I said, I always pick Streets of Rage over Double Dragon Neon until this, I mean, over Double Dragon, until this uh, Neon version came out. It's amazing. It is an awesome reimagining of the first Double Dragon. NFL Blitz. NFL Blitz came out for free. I do watch football. Eagles is my team. I know they just lost horribly to a team they should not have lost to. But... NFL Blitz is amazing, and I was scared when EA said they were going to make it, and they did a really good job with it. <laughs> Quantum Conundrum. It was made by the Portal People, I believe. Not Valve. The original Portal People. Um, it definitely has a lot in it that you can see. We saw this at PAX way before it came out. And um, I'm trying to remember. It it's been a long time since I played it. I remember it being hilarious. Just the song playing right now is hilarious. Retro City Rampage. Boom. This is the, uh... Jesus Christ. This plays like the old GTAs. Like an 8-bit style bordering 16-bit video game. It was fun. I'll have to do a video for it. Because that one I could talk a lot about. It's like Hotline Miami. It's not like Hotline Miami, but I'm saying like it's... To me, that's what it's like. Um, World Combat Arcade Collection. I have it on Xbox as well. I went over and bought it for PlayStation people just so you guys could spank me. There's one dude who spanked the shit out of me on here. NBA Jam, much like NFL Blitz, uh, was made by EA, originally made by Midway. This version, awesome. I have this on the Wii as well. No, I have it on Xbox 360. Really? Don't bother me. Oh, I do have NBA Jam on Xbox 360. Wow. On Fire Edition is the enhanced version. I got the regular version for Xbox. Closure. Closure was given to me for free by the developer, who I follow on Twitter and never talks to me anymore. Probably because he gave me the game for free, and I never reviewed it. Portal 2. I have Portal 2 for... No, I used to have it for Xbox. I traded it to Dan for something. Oh, Dan, Dan gave me a fucking Street Fighter Tournament Edition arcade stick for my 360 copy of Portal, and then I got this for free. On PlayStation Plus. <laughs> Little Big Planet Carding, once again, another PlayStation Plus game. I actually started an amazing track in here and then nobody had it to play with me. I don't know. Anybody still have it? You want to check out my track? It was amazing. Make you dizzy. <clears throat> Munch's Odyssey. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Regular Xbox game. Um, it's not as amazing going through it now. I mean, it's fun. I sat down and played it when I got it. But, uh, I think we just need a brand new Oddworld game. As much as that, I, why I love the Oddworld series, I like the dynamic between Munch and A. I did this video already. I like the game. I do like it. It didn't wow me as much as when it came out on Xbox, but it's still fun that it came out in HD.
Jet Set Radio? Jet Set Radio! They should have Jet Set Radio Future on here, but I'll settle for Jet Set Radio. Runner 2, my son loves. Runner 2, I only reason I've kept this, I mean, I played it and I enjoyed it, the only reason I'm keeping it, like, memory-wise, is because my son loves Runner 2. He'll say Runner, or he'll say run na na it means he wants me to play Runner, and then he wants to smack the controller when I'm in ama uh, an amazing run. Star Wars Pinball, like I said, love Pinball. Dive Kick, I did a video for Dive Kick. I also did a video for these two, Dark Side and uh, Umbrella Chronicles. Both amazing. Galaga Legions, amazing. This is an amazing game. I never liked Galaga. I always thought that shit was overrated. Because I think it's because I like the more in-depth uh, shoot-em-ups. And Galaga Legions is pretty fun. Inventory. <laughs> inventory 2. Poker Night at the Inventory 2 was fun. I played the shit out of it. I actually played... I played a lot of this. There's a lot of uh, technical issues with it, though. I'm not going to lie. But the game itself is fun, and it's all about the commentary. And the commentary is hilarious, mainly due to Claptrap and GLaDOS together. Hotline Miami, I have expressed enough love for this. Uh, this came with Beyond Two Souls. I don't really care about this. Binary Domain is awesome. Right when I started playing it, I realized you should have a headset to play it. You need a headset to play this game. You don't need it, but you can shout out commands, voice commands. And uh, it's very bro dude, very shitty acting, but this game is fun. All right, let's go down to, I'm not going to do my minis. PlayStation 1 games, ready? Start at the top. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, amazing. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I have it, let me try that again. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I have it on Xbox 360 and PS3 because it's amazing. Silent Hill 2, I mean, Silent Hill 1. I don't really need to tell you why I have Silent Hill 1 if you're on this show. I'm, I'm Jammer Lemmy. <clears throat> I'm Jammer Lemmy. Yes. I, uh, I got that for free on PlayStation Plus. I really want the PS1 version of Parappa because all I got on here is a fucking PlayStation uh, portable one. I didn't even say PSP. Final Fantasy V. Got it for free. Crash Bandicoot Warp. Got it for free. Crash Bandicoot 2. Got it for free. Crash Bandicoot. Got it for free. Crash Team Racing. Got them all for free. I do like Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to go rebuy these, but they are fun. Uh, Resident Evil 2, paid for that. I love Resident Evil 2. Up until 4, obviously, that was the best one. Final Fantasy 8, oh, amazing. Final Fantasy 8 is my favorite from the PlayStation 1 era. Pocket Fighter. Pocket Fighter I bought because I loved it. I love the way that it controls. It's weird. It's quirky. It's got a whole gem fighting system. It was amazing. Oddworld, I did these videos. Two amazing games. If you don't own, get or wait for the HD version. Cool Waters 2, I bought on purpose because Cool, cool Waters, fuck. Cool Waters 2 is my favorite uh, extreme sports style game. Yes, including Tony Hawk on the PlayStation 1 era. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, I, everybody I know that played all the Resident Evils, I think I'm the only one who really liked 3. I'm sure some of you will tell me that you like 3 now, but Jet Moto, I had to have got for free because no fucking way on earth I would have bought Jet Moto. Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut, amazing. I did a whole video about voicing or revoicing the uh, opening sequence. King of Fighters 99, bought this one because I love King of Fighters and I'll buy any King of Fighters ever. Final Fantasy 7, Ogle the fucking Christ. Ob <clears throat> Obligatory. Thank you. You have to have Final Fantasy VII if you have a uh, connection to the internet and you have a PS3. Street Fighter Alpha. I bought it accidentally thinking that it was Street Fighter Alpha 2. Castlevania Chronicles. Uh, I don't believe they came out. this game came out in America and it was released here. I'm not sure. No. Fuck. I know that game came out on PSP, but whatever. And then that's my Japanese version of Mega Man 2. Amazing. So, that's uh, my digital collection for my PS3. Fine, here. You know what? Twisted Metal Black. I just started it, and I'm probably going to play it now. <laughs> I love Twisted Metal Black. Thank you guys for watching.